artificial intelligence, the world faces what some call technophobia and some call it techno-utopia. Where is the role of ethics? How do we guarantee a human community, a world where human beings are not driven by technology and the products of their handwork, Zondan, that, rather that they imbue these products with values and with ethics? This is a topic of vast significance and I intend in these few minutes to share with you why ethics is important in the world of artificial intelligence. First of all, we have to mitigate risks and preserve human dignity. We have to ensure that citizens' lives are improved through technology, that they are enhanced through the nourishment of life, the improvement of lifestyles, the inclusion of many more people by reducing inequality, but above all, preserving environmental sustainability. Technology can do this. Technology has done that. But as we move with technology into a new phase, we need to ensure that ethical principles are strongly embedded in the way we live, in what we produce, and in the human quality being present. Therefore, we take it for granted that ethics can lay solid foundations um, for artificial intelligence, but starting from the beginning, not pre proactive, being proactive instead of just retroactive. We need to bring in what we call technological humanism into artificial intelligence. And it is necessary gradually to think seriously about interdisciplinary studies that bring various faculties, various disciplines into interaction as technology improves the human condition and offers its services to people. We call it therefore the holistic approach to questions of technology, questions of life, questions of sciences and economy. Can the robot have emotion? Does the robot think? Gradually, technology makes it possible. But technology must go much, much further to ensure that the artificial intelligence we create, the robots we create, respect also human dignity. That they are emotive in such a manner that joy, that music, that art, that singing, that voice, is recognizable. Ethicists need to make this possible being present at the time of the conjecture of the technologies. It is important to share the wisdom that designing public policies, creating regulatory frameworks among those who manage the affairs of nations, which bring in the ethical dimensions into protecting the consumer is critical. How do we make artificial intelligence prevent human beings from being harmed, physically harmed? By making sure that robots are guided in their algorithm to respect what we call the human intelligence. These are questions where we think that the ethical dilemma in discussing artificial intelligence can be positively resolved. Ethics is important for life. Ethics is important for society. Ethics is important for technology. And technology, therefore, respecting ethics underlines four key elements. One, environmental sustainability. Two, social inclusion of all levels. Three, gender mainstreaming, which really means that the roles of people, of men, of women, of youth, of the old, of children, is protected, respected, and guaranteed. And finally, that the ethical question makes us not look at technology as the savior, 
or technology as the destroyer. What I've called at the beginning technophobia or techno-utopia, but that technology places the human being quite strongly at the center of its aim for its service and for its utility.